Hi, I'm Braxton Kops, and today I'm going to be showing you how to heat treat metal. Um, heat treating metal is a skill that most people don't know, most people don't want to know, <laughs> but I thought it was really interesting and um, something unique that I knew how to do, and I thought it would be cool to show you guys how to do this. Um, so, the whole purpose of heat treating metal is to uh, make the metal harder and stronger. Um, and you want to make it harder, but you don't want it to become brittle. And so there's two things you have to do. You have to heat treat it, and then you have to temper it. And heat treating is when you take your piece of metal, which this is actually hot still, but, um, and you will heat this up super, super, super hot. And when you do that, you know, it'll become red, maybe orange colored. Then you'll take um, take that piece of metal and you'll quench it in oil. Um, I'm just using motor oil. You can use vegetable oil, um, anything you have at home really, as long as it's oil. Um, some people use water, but I'm using oil today. Um, I just had this and I bought it and I am not using it. And so I said, hey, it's perfect. So, um, and then I have it in my Canada Dry tan can here that, uh, <laughs> High tech equipment, right? Um, so um, that's it. Just needs you need to have a metal container that you can quench your piece of metal in. So you'll take your hot piece, you'll quench it in your oil. The flames will probably come up, um, depending on how hot it is. And what happens is, you know, they're when it's hot, they're moving. The atoms are moving super, super quick. And when you quench it, they stop. You know, wherever they were at, they stop. And so, because it cools down so fast, normally when you know they're moving super fast and as they cool over time they slowly um they slow down and they'll mesh together a little bit and that's not what we want that doesn't make for a hard metal um so um what we're going to need to do this is you're going to need a piece of metal uh, i'm using a piece of a bracket that i found lying around and then i uh wire brushed it off got it cleaned up and um ready to heat it up and quench it in the uh oil so you'll have um your piece of metal um i have a couple clamps here just because it, the heat needs to be on it for a while for to get it really hot and i don't feel like holding the torch for half an hour um i just have my torch with some duct tape over the trigger and um like i said high tech equipment um and i'm using map gas rather than propane be um because map gas burns hotter than propane and that's gonna speed this process up a lot quicker so, um, I'm going to get that going and then I will take my pliers. Um, I have, um, uh, channel locks here. They got a long handle on them, which is nice because I can keep my hand away from the flame and the heat from when I'm quenching it and when I grab it. Um, and then I also have some flame retardant gloves, some weld, I'm using welding gloves. You can use any type of thick glove that'll protect your hand. I'm using them because that will protect my wrist and forearm and stuff. And, so I, I like them a lot, even for most everything. So I'm um, gonna be wearing those and uh, be safe. Wear safety glasses when you're doing this kind of thing. Um, I mean, I can't. I don't really see an eye threat here, but uh, you never know. So um, yeah, uh, you you'll be working with really hot things and um, sometimes sharp objects. So just be careful. Um, all right, so I'm gonna heat up this. Uh, piece of metal here and uh, I'll get back with you in a sec. Alright, uh, I'm back and uh, this has been heated up for a little while. As you can see it's uh, orange hot, red hot, I don't know. It's scientific terminology, orange hot. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is this is going to be a fast process where I take it off, take it out of there and quench it in the oil. So. I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna loosen the clamp, take it out, quench it in the oil, and um, that'll be the heat treating process. Let me just get ready real quick.
Now you're gonna wanna swoosh it around um, like if it was a blade the long way, you would want it to, oh man, this smells horrible. Um, um, if it was a blade, you'd wanna cut, like cut through the oil kind of thing. And this is just to prevent warping. If you were, go, if you were to go, you know, this way, um, it may cause warping in the metal. So you don't want to let this cool in there for uh, just a little bit. Probably, you know, I don't really know an exact time, but uh, man, this stuff is everywhere. It's nasty. Whew, I probably should not breathe that in. Wear a mask when you do this. All right, that's it for um, that's it for the heat treating process. Um, I'm gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna wipe it off, um, and then uh, I'll pop it in the oven for about two hours, and um, at about 400 degrees. And that's gonna be the tempering process. That's gonna be where um, it, this metal is really really hard right now but it's brittle also. And so when I put it in the oven for two hours, it will harden the metal up, but it won't, it'll make it less brittle. So that way it won't break or shatter when I put force on it. So um, I'm gonna let this cool, clean it up, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. All right, I'm back, and uh, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to um, 400 degrees. So you wanna bake, bake your knife, you know? I uh, learned this method from uh, Martha Stewart herself. Yeah, she always says to bake it at 450, but you know, it, it just don't turn out the same, you know? So, I'm gonna preheat that and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. I have my uh, piece of metal here and my oven's all preheated. And I uh, need to cook it for about two hours. So let's pop this in here real quick. Alright guys, I um, took my piece of metal out of the oven and let it cool, and this is what it looks like. It's been heat treated and tempered in the oven, and so now it's harder, but not brittle. And um, that's how you heat treat and temper metal. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you learned something. Thanks, bye.